So you always meet new people at market and it's spring market 2018 and Shelly came up to our booth and said, can I introduce myself? I have something to show you and I followed over. Wow. Wow. So I have Shelly and Bernie married of Acorn Precision Piecing Products. Right. Okay. You love small things and you love things to be right. Yes. Okay. I asked you, do you love Sally Collins? And you're like, oh, oh yeah. Yes, oh, I yeah. do. <laughs> so Shelly and Bernie came up with stuff that you guys just have to see. So Thank take you. it away. All okay. right. The number one thing is a basting glue with some unique properties. Shelly likes things to be accurate and pinning, in our opinion, distorts fabric. So as you can see, what she's doing here is adding very, very tiny drops. And this glue has some special properties. One of them is that we don't want it to soak into the fabric. Uh, two is we want it to stay viable while she's positioning her pieces. So and you, you came up with fabric this? about? We, yes, we worked on this formula for about three years to get it right. Are you an engineer? No, not an engineer, just married to a quilter. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and you listen? I you listen? listen. I listen. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah. So the heat is what sets the glue. All right. So once the glue is set, uh, you can now take that to your sewing machine and confidently sew that without the fabric shifting. So just for fun, would you pull that apart for us? Okay, it's set now? It's, it's set, set now, yeah. Yep. yeah. Okay. And so I'm just, okay, so like your machine isn't going to hit a needle or something no, like the, that. The glue has a flexibility built into it. Look at that. It doesn't stretch or anything. Right, and it comes apart easily. And that's yeah. what you want because some people want to press their seams open. Yes. You may make a mistake. I know that's rare, but you could make a mistake. <laughs> Never. Bernie. I don't make mistakes. Ne never. Never. Yeah, never. But you might want to pull but it. But you guys might be interested. Yeah, you might want to pull it apart, so it pulls apart very easily. Yeah, no, that's great. I love the idea of the not pinning and that your your delivery would be the same all the way through. Absolutely. Your right? top layer on, on some machines, if you don't have adjustable presser foot pressure, your top layer grows, uh -huh. and this prevents that from happening. Okay, so Bernie also has service machines forever. Um, am I going to be concerned about this glue? Not at all. Uh, we designed this so that there would be that the needle would penetrate the glue easily. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, we get calls from long arm quilters that get the tops from our uh, students, mm -hmm. and their machines handle this so beautifully. There's, okay. there's, there's no problem with the needle hitting that and deflecting. Okay. Yeah. So you have one that you sewn together I already. Stitched this one together, <clears throat> and now you know when you're working with small pieces that sometimes when you press that little piece pops up. I think a lot of times it yeah, happens period, it does. right? And you can try and try and try, mm -hmm. but it's not going to lay flat. So I have a pressing pen here okay. that has a pressing solution, our pressing solution in it, and I apply the pressing solution to the top side of the seam, and you can see it's already starting to relax. Right. And then I give it a nice press, just a couple seconds, and it's dry. Wow. And oh, then, but why not just spray starch the whole thing? If you spray starch the whole thing, especially if you're working with a block with a lot of pieces, if you go back and spray starch this, you're going to get little crinkles along the seams. And oh, you won't be flat. You're right. Yes. Yeah, you. You know what you're talking about. <laughs> now you. I've tried it. <laughs> right. That's why I had. I told Bertie, I need a pen that has starch in it. And I actually used to just take the starch and apply it with my finger, uh -huh. but this is much better. I think that's great. Now